Yeah, so today they was had a whole operation. They had the little broke motherfucker working at the store, uh, talking shit. She's always in there, and uh, it's uh, just like. On the way back, they had like, I don't know, today's a Sunday, they had like, motherfuckers driving in front of me real, on a Sunday, real slow. You're like, well, that's a Sunday driver now, because they're not using their uh, turn signals. Not only that, as I was coming out the parking lot, one of them actually looked like they braced themselves, and which is the actual wrong thing to do in a head-on collision. It wouldn't have been head-on, it would have been T-boned me. And that would have broke your arms if you're bracing yourself. And you know you're going to crash. And because it would have been, but it was been low speed, real low, because it was inside of a parking lot. And they didn't slow down. You know, even if I turned in front of them, right? Somebody turned in front of me and I got plenty of room. You just slow down. But they kept, like I was saying the other day about what that person did. In the parking lot, they didn't never, and it would have showed that investigation from watching, you know, it would have been no skid marks that they never even tried to apply the brakes. But obviously, nothing happened. But as I'm looking at them, you know, in the, the one second, you can see that they they braced themselves. So these motherfuckers are literally that crazy. That they're willing to, to these, and you can say, yeah, because people been doing it, you know. But those people were, they had people who the insurance scams, you know, they're causing accidents. But what I'm saying is, this person, it would have been their fault. That's how crazy these cult members are, brainwashed. They hate being called that. All right, and another thing, I see. How crazy and how how evil. That's what I'm trying to convey. How evil these people are. Yeah, when I said that they're going to go down. Remember I kept saying I was serious. You know, mad, upset. And I'm thinking this would really get them to snap out of it. You know, that they would. You know, well, I guess because us good people, we worry about that shit. I don't want to leave a bad report. You know, you know, after I die, you, know you don't want... And so I'm thinking that would uh, uh, appeal to their human side to stop what they're doing. And no, and I'm still seeing it. And and it's yeah, this is about this impeachment too. But what I'm saying in the comments section, with the I'm telling you, I promise you, because there's like I said, it's ones that I frequent. It's a, a video or a channel, YouTube channel that I frequent, right? Trust me, that's how deep this shit runs out uh, with this psychological bullshit. It's not even warfare. It's psychological idiots. Who got, it's like children who got a hold of this these tactics and uh, equipment. And that's what it's like. Because in, what they're doing with the manga in it, and I think they're serious. What it shows is, because I saw one comment in, uh, about this, the strikes they launched. These idiots... Uh, and like this idiot right here, because I was about to go buy some garbage bags. At. So I know that's what I'm saying. This whole year, like, oh, that's just too... And it's not elaborate. It's a bunch of low-life, broke motherfuckers. You know, so, uh, like, say I go to a store, because somebody else posted videos on gang stalking uh, about how they go to the same store, right, years ago on YouTube. And the product, if the, what they're looking for is gone. And in this 2019, well, it's 2020. How in the fuck whoever is in charge of logistics, either see these stupid ass niggas, they don't even know what logistics means. The the manager, you run out of product. Any product. It, it see they just you see how he walks out like all defeated like a dumbass nigga. And these dangerous motherfuckers are the motherfuckers we got in our neighborhoods trying to think they're gonna take over the country with a stupid motherfuckers like these on your side. Ain't no way in hell you gonna take over anything. You could take over a prison, maybe where you're going, but that's it. No, you're too stupid. So, all right. So I'm at this, this, this the cheap store about 30 minutes ago. So they out of what I'm looking for because they know I'm out of garbage bags, and they know I like buying because I'm single. I ain't got to buy the big hefty. I can buy the dollar, two dollar, whatever. 
And uh, so he walks out now, you know, the, the, the looking defeated because he's a bitch. You know, he's really a bitch nigga. He's a fucking bitch. That's why he looks defeated, walks out, put his head down just now because, you know, I'm recording. That's why he had his head down. You know, he can't look up because he's a bitch. He's, he's basically castrated. And like I said, he's taking orders from, from women, I guess, and, and he knows better to put his head. Don't, don't look up. Look down because you're a bitch. And that's probably what they told him. That's how they gave him the directions. Look down. Do not look in his eyes like you're a man also. Put your, put your head up. Put your eyes on the ground. Look at the ground. Yeah, like I said, I walk and go where I want to go. <laughs> I ain't got nobody ordering me what to do. So anyway, like I said, they're on their operation today. They they, they, they mad. They try to, like a bitch, they try to uh, piss me off just like what a a woman does. She uh, she try to piss you off. If you're mad, if you're mad, you might, you know, you'll leave, storm out the house. But a bitch, you're going to stay there and try to instigate shit. And women know that, because if you're a man and you start staying around trying to instigate her, she gonna tell you, why don't you go somewhere, nigga, get, damn, get from under me. You know, you're acting like a bitch right now, and the woman will tell you that. Get the fuck from under me, man, why are you sitting up, go somewhere, don't you have somewhere to go? You know, and not because she's trying to get you to leave so she can cheat, it's because you acting like a bitch, and she don't like that, like, ugh, get ghost. And, uh... So anyway, the, 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 what I was talking about is how I see that they really don't care about what they how discuss it, and, and these people are evil. So this uh, one of the things they did with the the uh, killing of that general over there, you know, that, and they oh this is something ten uh, a nigga from his uh, avatar. This is a fake avatar, but it looks like just a regular. He has a regular. You know, because they think that's a big deal. Idiots thinking of having your real name, like your whole name, John Smith, and your picture on YouTube is uh, says you're 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 a tough guy, or a tough woman, and not a you know. And it's like no, it's not that serious. It's fucking Avatar <laughs> on YouTube. You ain't had it. You're not supposed to put your real name. You can. Nobody says you can't. But it's unspoken rules. They're like no, don't do that. Fucking hackers might, uh, you know, you fucking idiot. But, uh, 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 he's, he's, uh, oh, this, uh, I guess this is something in 10 years that'll be a history question. No, that bitch, that's not why I said it. I, I literally want y'all to be in infamy. Like John Wilkes Booth, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what I was talking about going down in that. Oh, I'm calling it. Because he said, I'm calling it right now. See what I'm saying? The competition. That's how evil and stupid these people are. They think I'm trying to get out in front of them, trying to be smart and show that I'm smart. That And like maybe in 10 years, oh, see, I called it. No, bitch. When I say I got proof that I said it first, I'm talking about getting you arrested. Going to federal prison like right now, months from now, if we get this to trial. Not because I want it to be in history. I was smarter than you and I called it first. No evil motherfucker. I want you in prison. That little stupid bitch that just walked out, I want him in prison. Violating our rights, murdering people, spying on American citizens, and you're supposed to be homegrown terrorists. That's how evil these stupid motherfuckers, they still think it's a fucking game. A competition. <laughs> I called it too. No, that and that shows how evil they are. They're, they're not worried about, well, we're going to go down as black people who kept black people enslaved. You know, metaphorically on a, you know, like they got mad at Kanye. I don't listen to his music. It's not nothing personal. I just never have since he came out years ago, since his first song, not album, since his first song. Nothing personal. Just didn't. As a rap fan, I just didn't feel that. You know, years, all these years, never really heard one of his songs. But remember when they got mad at him, the black folks, they were like, oh, and when he said it was a choice, slavery, and people, some people understood, like, no, he's talking about mentally. He, it was a metaphor. And they're like, no, you meant, you were trying to say that people back then in slavery times literally, uh, 
like chose, but you know, with seeing some of these niggas now, I, I fuck it. You could be mad at me, bitch, because I got something hot for you, stupid motherfucker. You know, look, everybody take it out garbage now. That's what I'm saying. These are the mental slaves who literally, like I said, they're, uh, and we pointed out years ago, people been pointing out there were slaves who fucking tried to sell out Harriet Tubman on a, like this, these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers really want would, them, would, would turn you in. If you was a black bird trying to escape, these motherfuckers would turn you in. I don't want to, uh, you know, not calm down. It's just, you know, it's just part of the program. No, no, bitch. You know, goddamn, this program ain't no program that a black person thought up. Jesse Jackson, Oprah, you know, no. This is a program that has nothing to do that, that the liberals have set up trying to uh, socialism. You no, know, Sunday is not a day cause, uh, to take out garbage, you know, because garbage fills up every fucking day. You know, and like I said, you're not going to win with that Spengali. Oh, you need to look at you. No, no, bitch. If you're fucking doing this shit, knowing when I get up, knowing when we're doing this and that, knowing when we're going to the store, having your little cronies that work at the store for $5 or whatever they making. I'm not putting a regular person working at that store down, but a gang stalker. Yeah, yeah, matter of fact, because I went to, uh, after that store, I went to the store up there, same thing, they're acting like they're so busy, and I'm the only one in there, you know, she, I don't give a fuck if you're talking to your other employee, you know, no, as I said, I've been a cashier a long time ago, I've done it too, you don't, you know, if the customer come in, it ain't that, first of all, you can just stop, hold up, all you're gonna do is just hold up, you know, to your co-worker, it's just two of y'all running the store, hold up, let me get these people out the way, because first of all, you don't want them saying something to your manager, hey, they's in there running, I ain't got time, I ran in this store, I gotta get to my job, you already on your job, and look at this idiot walking around, look at that little bitch right there, look at this fucking idiot walking around, the fuck is this weirdo, look like he on meth or something, they just today they just happy. I don't know what it is about today, what they got planned, what they leaders got in store. We need to watch out for these evil fucks. Who knows what these motherfuckers got in store? Cause today they showing it. They showing out today. Yeah, first of all, like I said, so it's like, wait, let's get this, just get them out. Your come ain't nothing that you two are talking about that important that you because you don't know where that person has to go. You're not supposed to know, but if you're spying on me, so you think I have time, because, you know, I'm coming back right home. I don't have to go to work. You know, I get, a, you know, my, my VA money and all that shit. But you shouldn't know that. But you're a fucking spy. You're too stupid to realize, wait a minute, we're not supposed to know this. We're telling on ourselves that we know this. So we're supposed to treat him like he has somewhere to go, like every other fucking customer. I told you this weirdo looked like a fucking meth head. I couldn't uh, see it till he walked around here right now. And like I said, when you're a fucking criminal doing criminal shit, you don't get to say, stop being rude to me. Don't talk rude to me. No, bitch, you're a fucking criminal. Unless you're the motherfucker that the, the type, unless you're the type that, that busting up in people's houses or whatever you're doing, you know, pulling out guns, yeah, then you get respect. <laughs> Then that's just the way it works. You can say, oh, that see, that's a hypocrite. No, no, bitch. That is the motherfucker put a gun in your face. That's what that is. So unless y'all want to start doing that, you're still getting called bitch, you stupid bitch.